Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth episode of Climbing and Grinding in the KC Cup February 2021 edition, round one. So we'll we're going to try and ride the momentum from the last episode. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if this is going to keep us going and if we are going to be even better. Okay, so this is... I think this will be the D-level up game. And if we win this, we'll be D-level 17, which is going to be good for us. Okay, went to D-level up. Oh, this is a bad hand. Okay, show me what you've got. Hmm... 30 cards and 4 cards in the extra deck. Hmm. This can be everything, but mostly I was expecting exactly that. Dark Magician. Okay. Okay, Palladium Oracle Mahad. A face down and a set card. Interesting. Very interesting. I will take the damage and I will use it to get Veil up in this field. So, what are you going to do now? I will use the effect to get my hands on I Hope Sage. Hope is also fine, all things considered. But still, what I want to do is get well, get myself a fusion, and fusion summon Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth, in defense position. So, what are you going to do now? You will go ahead and destroy my, my Samsara, but with that I'll be able to get well back to the field. Or Veil. Vale. It actually depends. I just hope he summons a bust... not a Buster Blade, or a Dark Magician. Okay, that's a, that's a Dark Magician girl. Okay, Magician's Robe. He's going into battle phase. Okay, so he's going to attack with Mahad. Which is fine. Mahad's effect will trigger, boosting his attack to 5,000 points. But, Samsara's effect will also trigger, allowing me to special summon Magician's Robe in defense. Hm. So, I protected my life points. Okay, Mausoleum of the of the White. I'll pass turn with this. I'm still awaiting. Awaiting the Dark Magician. I have Kytroid for defense, so I'm pretty much golden. Oh, the Eye of Tamias. That's fine. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Okay, what's her effect again? Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can send one card from your hand and then target one face of card in the field, destroy that target. Okay. Okay, so you're sending a card from your... Okay, you're destroying Magician's Robe. This is fine. This is actually fine. What are you going to do next? You're entering battle phase. Okay. I don't think so. I activate Destruction Swordsman Fusion. 
and I use your Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, and my Buster Blader to fusion summon Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. So, what's your next move? Because I know mine. I activate Mausoleum of the White. I summon Sage with the Eyes of Blue and activate its effect. To get my hands on well. I will then summon said whelp and activate its effect, bringing back a Buster Blader. And now we will battle. Go attack. Please don't be a wall of disruption. Okay, Dimensional Prison is also fine. Uh, Magician's Robe, what does this do? Okay, I don't care. I, I'm attacking into into Mahad. It's an Earth. What I expect him to do now is special summon the Dark Magician from his hand decor graveyard. With Mahad. There it is. Go. Destruction Swordsman Fusion. And I'm going to fuse your Dark Magician with my Buster Blader in order to fusion summon the Dark Paladin. Who's a very big boy. There are three dragons? How? Okay, there's Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Um, okay. Hmm. It's tempting. But I won't be swayed. Oh, there's Samsara. I forgot about Samsara. Dragon of Rebirth. I won't let you get that King Destiny draw. I am perfectly fine with you doing that. Because I can activate Draw Sense Light and get my hands on a Whelp. Which is then going to be summoned and tributed for a Buster Blader. Let's end this. Go, Dark Paladin. Okay. That was, that was quick. I'm glad we were able to get to level 17 during this episode. Yeah! Okay. So this is another level we cannot drop from, so this is our safe spot. For the first duel of the of the episode. I'm glad. That went surprisingly well. For a Buster Blader versus a Dark Magician. Dark Magicians are very, 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 very not cool. Oh god, it's going to be Gravekeepers, isn't it? It's going to be fucking Gravekeepers. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. We'll be seeing Gravekeepers here. Okay, Ishizu. Watch it. God fucking damn it. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. What are you going to do? Okay, get even more cards. At least we have DNA surgery, so that is fine. All we need now is a Buster Blader. This one. Okay, so he got... Until Noble Arms are needed once again. So I will place two cards face down and pass. What are you going to do? Um, add one of them to your hand. Okay, that that's fine. I've excavated Noble Arms of Destiny. This is fine. 
Unless that's a cosmic cyclone, I'm A-OK. -okay. Since during your draw phase, after you draw a card, I'm going to activate DNA surgery and call Dragon. Rendering your deck useless. I still need to be cautious, though. This DNA surgery renders all noble arms useless. Uh, you know what? I will activate fusion at this point in time. Because I don't want Tristan to just blow up my DNA surgery. That wouldn't be nice of him. You know? Okay, what are you going to summon? You're going to summon... Uh, but that's fine. I don't care. I just want to get rid of... Oh, well, let's go with boards. And I will fusion summon Buster Blade or the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman in defense. So, what now? Okay, that's a Karma Cut. And there goes a Noble Arms of Destiny. In hindsight, they should have just taken Dristan. And this card is destroyed. Okay, you return those to the hand. And activated Glory of the Noble Knights. Giving you an additional card. A Galatin. Okay, that's Gwenifer. Kytroid, go! So now I'll draw. I will normal summon Sage, activate Sage's effect, get my hands on a well. Use Destruction Swordsman Fusion's effect. Send said well to the graveyard. Set two and pass. Your move. I will now activate DNA Surgery and I'm going to call Dragon. After which I'll go activate Destruction Swordsman Fusion, fusing your Sacred King with my Buster Blader, the Fusion Summon Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. You have your plays, and I have mine. Although mine are better. Yep. Mine are stronger. That's hap that's what happens when you summon a big boy. Okay. I need at least two more duels. Okay, so stuff is happening. Okay. Show me what you've got. Okay, so we got a pretty decent starting hand, all things considered. Okay, that's a set monster. That that's a set card. Okay, I'll pass. I'm fine with whatever you're going to throw at me. I hope it's going to be interesting. Oh! It sure is interesting. I might actually lose this one. That's a dark...
contract of the Swamp King. But I think... Wouldn't he... Okay, the dark contract of the Swamp King. He's going to bring out Beowulf, isn't he? Okay. Hmm. Oh no, another dark. Interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to defend with my kite droid. Go, kite droid! Defend me! Thank you for defending me. Now, Dark will attack. And I will take the damage so I can bring out the Veil. No. Battling Boxer Veil is summoned and I am healed. I will draw. Okay, that's a Buster Blader, which is good. Which is very good. But I will active I will summon a whelp. Get my hands on the fusion. And Synchro summon Samsara Dragon of Rebirth. At this point, what I'm trying to do is get as many cards as humanly possible out of my deck. So I will set a card and Synchro Summon Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth, in defense position. Giving me not one, but two defense bodies on the field. Since Samsara can just summon a monster from either player's graveyard. Yo, move. I'm expecting him to do something to destroy either Samsara at this point or my back row. So, what. which one will it be? Okay. None I assume. None I see. Okay. That that that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm not going to Okay, there's a dark contract you will heal due to Oh you can use effects once per turn during the standby phase. And one card on the field, destroy it. Okay, that is fine. However, Samsara's effect will trigger, allowing me to bring back your DD Vice Typhon in defense position. This is fine. That's actually pretty good, all things considered. I draw a sage. Hmm. It's a 4,000 body. None of my synchros are strong enough, so I'll just keep the status quo. There's nothing else I can do at this point. So my opponent will just keep on healing. I could have summoned one of my synchros. Oh, and here's here's me. Here's the dead. I can defend against one of those. Okay.
There's a true nade. Okay. I know one thing now. Which is quite important. But I will still drop shit. Mausoleum of the White. Come forth. Sage with eyes of blue. I will get my hands on the whelp. Okay, so I pretty much lost this duel at this point. This, oh, since the only thing I can do is get rid of the contract with the dark gate but that doesn't help it doesn't help at all pearl the good synchro monsters when you need them like i don't know a buster fucking dragon ah uh, it would have been so much easier if buster dragon was in the game Yeah, that, that was the only thing I could do. I had nothing. If I had actually drew into a DNA surgery, I would have had a play. I would... I might have actually won. Since I would still destroy the... Dark Contract with the gate. But I would have a Buster Lock as well on top of this. Or I would have just summoned Stardust Dragon. Oh no. This hand is shit. Like r literal garbage. And I'm playing against Thunder Dragons. Not one now because he had a play over here. So I'll just set two and pass. Humble T set. Your move. Do the combo. Go go with the dark. Yeah, called it. If this actually survives, and I draw a Buster Blader, then I'm golden. But I... I don't think it's going to survive. Standby phase. Main phase. Aloof Lupin. Or Charge of the Light Brigade. Ida or... He's taking Raiden, not Lumina. He probably already has Lumina in hand. No, he's just summoning Raiden. Interesting choice. I thought he would get Lumina to get a level 7 Synchro on the field. Okay, Thunder Dragon Dark. And Dragon Hawk, sorry. Those Thunder Dragons are very confusing. Oh, there's the Vermilion Dragon mech. Here it is. Acha. Okay. Under Dragon Dark activates, allowing him to get duo. So you know what, I'll just make it easy on you. I activate DNA Surgery and I'm calling Dragon. So there's no need for you to just destroy DNA Surgery, you're going for wealth instead. That's the smart thing to do. Because you know that my back row won't hurt you this turn. Yep. Alright, and I need to... Ah, oh, goddammit. I need to make him go for the combo. Okay, there's the duo. Like, seriously, if... If I wasn't OTK... Just... Just go ahead with all of this. Hmm... 
Okay, so things are happening. And by happening, I mean he's doing nothing. <sighs> okay, and that is done. Okay. Okay, let's go along with this. Okay, I think this is going to be the final duel. Or the penultimate duel of this episode. We do leveled up to a position in which we cannot de-level down. So that is very good. Fuck, I'm tired. Today was a very, very, very crazy day. Okay, this is good. This is very good. Okay, this is a decent opening. Okay, so that's it. Lights weren't invoked? The fuck? I'll activate Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. Getting my hands on the Buster Blader. I will set two cards and pass. Show me what you've got. Okay, so you're using Raiden's effect. Sending a Lumina and a Solar Recharge to the graveyard. Um... Okay. Um... I have no idea what I should think about this, so I'll just... Set another DNA Surgery and pass. I'm confused. I don't like being confused. Okay, there's the Solar Recharge. Oh. So what? Invoked lights were blue. What the fuck am I witnessing here? And what? What was the tribute set? Oh well, we'll see in a moment. He has a pretty, de pretty cool. No, but seriously. Okay. Anyway. He's going to summon the blue eyes now. And that will make everything much easier. Oh, there it is, a dragon spirit of white. Target. Okay, that is fine. I activate destruction zone infusion. So now your dragon is part of me now. Your dragon is now a part of me. And I activate DNA Surgery, and I'm going to call Dragon. I activate my field spell, Mausoleum of the White. And I'll use its effect to summon Sage with Eyes of Blue. Now I'll activate its effect to get a Whelp from the deck, which is going to be summoned. And the Whelp will activate its effect, allowing me to search for Destruction Swordsman Fusion. Now I will tribute Whelp in order to summon Buster Blader from the graveyard. After which, I will use my Sage and my Buster Blader in order to Synchro Summon Stardust Dragon. Go, Buster Blader, attack! Okay. That, that was easy. Okay. And with that, we're done for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Chikolo Sanya. Peace.